Hello subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we are off to Kilmore. Yes, Kilmore. We did a basic Google search, looking for a place to go and have a, a lunch somewhere. So we decided to look for the oldest inland town in Victoria, thinking it was going to be either Ballarat or Bendigo. But no, it was Kilmore. So here we are. So after a quick lunch at one of the local pubs or bars or hotels or whatever you want to call it on the main strip, which was also a very historic old bluestone building, we came across our first historical building, which is the old Kilmore Goal or prison. Now, to, just to give a, an idea to those who are uh, unfamiliar on where Kilmore is, it is basically a one hour drive from the CBD of Melbourne. So it's an easy trip. It's a very historic town. There's a lot to see. We had two hours to burn. So this is where we spent the last two hours um, on this lovely, pleasant, sunny afternoon. Now, a brief history about this prison. It was built in 1857 and it served as a prison from 1859 to 1891 where it was decommissioned and used as a butter factory. In the 1960s it became a private home, in the 1990s it became a restaurant and then in 2004 once again it became a private home that you can visit and it does take guests uh, and they do have a lovely cafe there as well. Next we have the St Andrews Church built in 1864 and was sold in 2014 to be a private residence for the sum of 470,000 if anyone's interested. So here we come across three more historical buildings. The first one being the Kilmore Courthouse, which is now a information center and museum. The original courthouse was of wooden construction, but got burnt down in 1862. This one's been built in 1863 to 1864, and it stopped uh, in 1916. The other building next door is the post office. It was built on the 1st of February, 1843. And the final red one, uh, the red brick one, is the police barracks. It's, uh, it was built in 1891. Okay, so just a, a brief history on Kilmore. Now, Kilmore was a stronghold for early Celtic settlers from Ireland, Scotland and Cromwell and remains a strong Celtic area to this day. The town boasts a, uh, a market on the last Saturday of each month and a Celtic festival every year in June. But I'll double check on the, uh, do a Google search just to make sure that's still the case.
Now, just a little bit of history about the old Kilmore Goal or prison. It was a maximum security prison and it was, as mentioned earlier, used from 1859 until 1891 when it was decommissioned and used as a butter factory. Now, the Goal or the prison saw many escapes and uprising uh, over its 32 period of use and contrary to popular belief, Ned Kelly was never actually a prisoner here. Uh, it was uh, maintained in its original bluestone walls and intimidating appearance, but the interior of the jail was renovated during the time it was served as a butter factory. So a lot of the stuff is missing. Uh, today, as I mentioned, the, uh, the prison is a home to a beautiful cafe and allows you to enjoy a coffee while experience the history uh, and atmosphere that surrounds you. So they allow you just to walk around even though it's someone's private property. Um, and it's terrific, you get to have a good look around, you get to see some of the old wooden doors that actually were used when it was a prison. And the setting is quite pleasant actually. But there you go, so even though you can see a Ned Kelly type shield, um, he actually never uh, uh, was imprisoned here. Now, our last port of call in our two hour visit to Kilmore is the Hanson Kilmore Quarry. Now, they provide standard, premium, high performance and decorative concrete, stone and rock aggregates and a wide range of standard and specialty sands. Now, the only reason I decided to come here was it gave me the opportunity to test my skills flying the drone. Uh, so here we go, let's see how good or bad I am with my drone technique.
So here we are, coming to the end of our two hour visit of Kilmore. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, that's great. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and once again, get yourself a hobby. You're never too old or too young to have a hobby. And more importantly, stay safe and commute safe. Bye for now.